when it's only done by Muslims. Rubbish. They hate Rubbish. women guns only when it's done by Muslims. Rubbish. And that to me is sickening. It's also a lie. I hate the act, not because of the one who's doing it, but because of what he or she is doing that's destroying lives. Yeah. 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 We have had these discussions on YouTube on my YouTube channel many times, which you can find by researching, searching me and Mohammed Ijab channels. And hear it from a Muslim. Would you go to Hitler to learn about Judaism? Of course not. So why go to people that hate Islam? Also equivalency. So why did you want to go? Also Every civilized society, why did you want to go? Every civilized society, 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 Every group and that free speech should allow us to attack Islam as a religion. To counter this, we can talk internationally about Muslims being burnt in Burma, one million killed in Iraq or tortured in Guantanamo while the West looks on. However, today I will not talk about that or use this argument. I just wonder why the ultra-right is disproportionately focused on Islam when laws in this country have in fact aimed to protect other religious groups. It was only 10 years ago where actual Christian blasphemy laws were amended from common law. Jews are protected in many European countries from the free speech of someone. However, unjustifiably denying the Holocaust, for example. The far right has said nothing about Jews' special rights. It will be interesting to know if any of today's speakers would want to defend someone's right to defend Holocaust denial, poppy burning, or burning the English flag. Whatever the reason, I don't care. As a voice of the Muslim community, I want you to know that we do not need added rights as minority groups in this country, but we do demand, demand equal treatment. The same philosophers who champion freedom of speech, like J.S. Mill, also championed protecting minorities. They were particularly concerned with what is referred to as tyranny of the majority. What about me? I'm a if minority. If we are to be consistent, we must be concerned with the same thing. Today, I could have, as others have, accused the other speakers as being neo-fascists or neo-Nazis. I haven't done that, and I don't intend to do that. That's not productive. There are parallels between the ultra-right and interwar Germany and Italy, which you should be aware of. The ultra-right is also ultra-nationalist, assimilationist, and white separatist. One of the first things Hitler did after putting through the Enabling Act was pass restrictions of Jewish people who he, as you know, thought was the germ, was the germ that was infecting society. The ultra-right stressed anti-Muslim immigration, the stoppage of building of mosques, and restrictions of so-called Islamification. Hitler, t Hitler told his people, the Jews, this is longer than and the on communists, <laughs> were the ultimate I've problem. Because I've written it, written it all down, and today, so I know when it's not. the ultra-right is saying exactly minutes, around, the same thing about ago. Muslims. So you've added it. You've added stuff. Finishing off. Today, no, I want to good. offer a personal invitation to everyone listening here to share your grievances with us, the Muslim community, and we will do the same with you. Yeah, if, you want, man, if you want to let's come to Speaker's Corner next week or join, join us breaking our fast in Ramadan two weeks from now and we can explain what Islam is from our perspective. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We will listen to your perspective and allow you to air your concerns about our community. It is in this restorative justice type set where we can move forward as respected communities. Now, uh, uh, COE, COE, can I get back to you? I don't need to. Come, come in here, come in here. Now, guys, let's see how we now, guys, COE. Difficult crowd, Ali. Now, guys, don't even get your jokes though. The whole was, joke. I, 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 I really. specifically rehearsed that. I made on, sure that it's under five minutes, yeah? Because they said to me very clearly, Ali, you have five minutes to speak. That wasn't on the phone. And then, and then, he added like another I said, one, you know one what? Worth of chat. You know what? I'll even beat my time. I'll try to do it in four minutes, 32 seconds. Just allow me on the stage. Now, plus, uh, can you check if it's recorded? Because I don't know if it's recorded. Though. Wait, wait, so let me go in the front. Man. Why am I against hate speech so much? Why am I against you want it? Blast you, you law to protect sorry, 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 sorry. Let me tell every single one of you guys you why I'm against hate speech. Do you know these people? 
Do you know them? Scientologists answer. Does anybody recognize these two faces? I am. I'm seeing them. This is a girl, a young white innocent girl. Someone said I got shit under my turban earlier. I didn't say nothing. Omar, he's under my turban. He's a piece of shit. I didn't say nothing. You heard The person on the left. I didn't say. I didn't go to the The person on the left in America, a Somalian sister, was butchered and thrown to the bushes in some park somewhere. Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Why? Because of hate speech. I am against hate speech with all my might and power. Because I do not want innocent people to die. What did this white girl, this innocent white little girl do to die? Oh, poor little white girl. What did she do? Oh, sorry, I thought you were talking about something else. You're disgusted. I apologise, I didn't know you were talking about that. You're disgusting person. I apologise, I apologise. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. I apologise, I apologise. I thought you were talking about Lucy. I thought you were talking about Lucy. I thought you were talking about Lucy. I said sorry. I thought you were talking about Lucy. I thought you were talking about Lucy. Guys! I thought you were talking about Lucy. I didn't like the picture. Don't lynch me, man. I have to talk. Don't lynch me, I apologise. I apologize, I thought you were talking about Lucy. The same, I didn't see the picture. The same goes with grooming gangs. Innocent girls, be they Asian girls, white girls, whatever background. These people, these are stuff that we need to speak up to. And Islamophobia, things we want. Our sisters are getting their hijabs ripped off their head. They get run over. We're getting death threats. Why? Because of hate speech. Well, you, Ali, if there is I'll one person that would attitude. agree with Tommy Robinson, it would be ISIS. And Andrew Chowdhury supporters, they'll say, yes, give us the right that freedom speech so we can spew more hate and more innocent people will die. We are against that. What's about racial hate speech? Yeah, house could, house, uh, was it? Now, here is evidence. Here is evidence that nobody has seen. <laughs> Seems nobody like it's a one way street. <laughs> These are messages that I had to ask Lucy to give me permission to put out here. Yeah? Nobody has seen these yet. Nobody has seen these yet. Do you guys remember Tommy Robinson doing a live video? And in his live video, he was asked, Is Ali Dawa talking? He said, Yes, he will be the idiot of the day. Yeah, no, he said he's our surprise guest. Sarcasm. The idiot of the day. Check this out. Joke. Check this out. When I heard, when I heard that I made, there's rumors going that I'm not allowed to talk. I messaged Lucy and I said, I'm seeing videos saying I'm not speaking tomorrow. She said, ignore them. It's drama. They were getting attacked. They were getting attacked verbally because they did not want me. People were saying, I don't want to travel five hours down there and listen to this Muslim guy. I said, but apparently Tommy's been seying that. What's the problem? Because they just don't like you. This is what Lucy said. As an said. individual, not because you're Muslim. Listen very carefully. Tommy in his live video said, Ali Dawa will be our surprise guest. Brother, brother, brother. My brother. Oh, can you tell him? Can you tell him? Brother, well, if you're going to do me a favor, let them talk. Let them talk. Now, what did Lucy say? In Tommy's live video, he said, Ali Dawa is our surprise guest. Look what Lucy says. Surprise guess or surprise I vision. think he wants it to <laughs> yeah, be a surprise. Yeah. 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 I think bit. he wants it to be a surprise. So and he's trying what? to tell people and you're not what? coming. What point is I'm trying thinking trying maybe it's what more exciting. No, my point that I'm trying to make. Where's the verification? And what? So what? Anybody can hold up anything. Hold on, hold on. He was allowed. He should have spoke. Let's just say that. He should have Now, when I arrived on the day, when I arrived on the day, what did they say to me? This is what I was told. Stop crying, man. This is what I was told. Tommy Robinson said, I didn't invite Ali. So what? I didn't invite Ali. Does this matter? One second. So what? Now, the, the point so here is this. He didn't invite me. So okay. What? I'm very happy. I come there. I speak to this lady. And this lady says, Ali, basically, she went and spoke to Tommy and said, Ali, you did not come to a security briefing. So I was like, hold on a second. First, I'm being told, Tommy's saying, I knew nothing about it. Can you imagine? His own Facebook, he knows no, no, he doesn't know anything about posts. His own personal assistant, if Lucy was told clear cut, Ali is not speaking, do you really believe Lucy's gonna say, you know what? There you go, mate. I'm gonna, no way. So it's very clear, Tommy had a plan. The plan was either this, and this, this is a speculation. 
I'm being honest. Well, like either, either he, he brought me there to waste my time, or he knew it's going to be a hostile environment. He said, I'll get him here and not let him in. We all knew it's going to be a hostile environment. Now, now, this lady says, this lady says, you didn't come to the security briefing. Well, let's ask the organizer, was there a security briefing? <coughs> this is Lucy. None of our speakers were asked to attend security briefing. Nine, nine. And Janaza, four. Janaza. Very, and four. Now, the Janaza. What's your point, Ali? Get on to your point. <coughs> My favorite hey, word. What you said? What's you used to be Kawadij. Nice, Janaza. I can't hear you. Say it a bit louder. Huh? Janaza. Now, Let's who's say seen it. this video? <laughs> Repeat after me, Janaza. With Lucy or Who's seen this or video? Or Has anyone seen this yes, video? Yes, I've seen it. Come What's on, guys. With Lucy, I need you to talk. Has anyone seen this video? Oh, they're crazy. They're crazy. They're crazy. They're crazy. They're crazy. We know they're crazy. Though. You know? Relevance These it. are Tommy's Woo! friends. Yeah, you know what they said? Two. Don't listen they to them. They said if he was to come on stage, there would have been chaos and bloodbath. And I'm like, bloodbath? They're a bit mad. Bloodbath? What kind of bloodbath? I'm thinking this is a freedom of speech event. Why would there be bloodbath? Yeah, I'm shaking my legs. Why I'm would there be like, bloodbath? You know, get ready for a fight. No. Where's no, my gum shield? Do, Where's my gum shield? <laughs> Where's my gum shield, man? I, today, oh, one thing I want to talk about is Lucy's rights. Is that for it? Lucy is, is a female oh, who used to work for Tommy Robinson. Brother, let them talk. Now, I want to ask you guys a question. I want to ask you guys a question. Why did Lucy get fired? Just say the word Why did Lucy get fired? This is what Lucy said, and I salute her. You know why? Because Allah says in the Quran, stand up to justice, truth, even if it's against yourself. Lucy did that and it came at the cost of her losing her job. I salute her. This is one of the uh, tweets that she made that cost her her job. If you oppose Antifa attacking me, but do not, uh, do not oppose the FLA, yeah, well done, Lucy. The jab, then you are a Give her a chair. She does we deserve thank it. We Lucy yeah, no, no, she for does. the determination no, and the courage that she stood up for. She is yeah, a true yeah. person that believes in freedom of speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wasn't being sarcastic. Now, the yo, Lucy. Well done, Lucy. Well done, Lucy. We was being shouted, pedo, 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 yes? You heard it, yeah? How did it go? Why we was calling, be called pedo, a pedo called Milo was on stage. <laughs> a pedo called Milo, a real pedo, yeah? What was he doing on stage? Talking, and this is the same yeah, man who believes, uh, he a little he young boy, having sex with a 13-year-old boy, having sex with another man, he's calm. It's okay. So while they were chasing us out saying pedo, pedo, I was gonna say, mate, go back to the VIP section. There's a real pedo in there that he wants to talk. Yeah? Now, now I wanna mention I wanna mention the conform guys. Now who remembers this campaign? So Who remembers police, this campaign? Sure these guys. Yeah. 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 yeah? Everybody, there was a little campaign going on, yeah? What was the campaign? They all have the Senate tape, and when it's their turn to speak, they rip it off. Guess what? Everybody took it off except me. I was like this. I was just like this. Can I take it off? No, you're a Muslim. Freedom of speech for everyone oh. but you, mate. Did you get so a cabin job? That day, had to take it off that day you know I was the only one who couldn't yourself. take that tape off. Why didn't you take it off, Ali? Right. Yeah, you were supposed to do it yourself. <laughs> what, they were holding his hands down. Like, Ali supports Tommy Robinson. And our dear, our dear wow, friend, who's very close to my heart, Tommy <laughs> Robinson. <laughs> I've not spoken to Ali Dawo too. Sorry for the confusion. He's not speaking at the event. I did not invite. Imagine there was a claim, but I received no reply. Now, I'm asking a simple question. It's a freedom of speech event. I was, I was even being told, when you come and give your speech, don't talk about Islam. And I was thinking, like, what kind of freedom of speech event is this? Come on board, but we'll tell you what to say and what not to say. Now, didn't Tommy Robinson get banned on Twitter? Wasn't this whole thing one of the main reasons because of this? You're holding an event because you got banned on Twitter, but when Ali Dawa comes, he does the same thing. Enjoying it? Now, I'm going to mention five clear-cut hypocr hypocrisy. I think it's the best speech since, uh, since Moses come down. 
Guys! I'll take the Shahada soon. Do we not know? Your Janaza. Tommy Robinson is known that if any of his followers attend his march and they usually get in trouble at work and they get sacked because they support far right, Tommy Robinson makes it a mission to go to the employer's door and say, Why? Why did you sack this woman? Guess what Tommy Robinson did? Sacked Lucy. She sacked, he sacked Lucy. So the same guy who goes to employee's door and defends the right of his people that support him, Lucy. That was that precise reaction. I don't care. Jesus Christ. And Ramadan's coming. Now, guys, who remembers Tommy Robinson going and knocking on this person's door? Everybody remembers it, yeah? But when Tommy Robinson does it, it's okay. It's fine. You know, it's all right. I was speaking to the one Zionist guy. I go, don't you remember him doing that? He's like, yeah, he did. But at the end, they start hugging. Do you guys remember me? I I did not even go to his house. I did not even go to his house because I'm not him. I asked him for a discussion and debate. And I went to the area. And what happened? What happened? He lost his mind. He went to the police station. How dare you come near my area? When you do it, it's fine. Grown men acting like women. Look. Grown men acting like women. Well, that's a bit rude to women. Do you still want to take my confine now? I'm not the child as well. Do you hear that? I'm not the child as well. Brother, oh. brother. Now, I want to ask you guys a question that Russia Today asked. Oh, they're a good source of independent journalism. Oh, Milo, Tommy Make Robinson. Fire, I'm not going to say Sagan of Akkad because he went on stage and defended me. Is Milo and Tommy a hypocrite? 100%. They showed their true face that day. True face. Fox News, all its rights and wrongs, is not a totalitarian... You want more evidence? This is Kaelin, another organizer on the event. What does he say? Hi, Ali. I'm sending you a formal invitation. Five minutes slow. Look at that. Tommy knew very well I was coming. Now, you guys can't really see this, but this is the time where Tommy Robinson was in France and punched an immigrant. An African immigrant. He was really peaceful. How? Look, look. When Tommy punches people, it's fine. It's okay. But when Mohammed Ijab and me are encircled in a corner by 100 fucks who are saying we're going to kill you, when Mohammed Ijab puts his gum shield to protect himself, how dare you do that? How dare you do that? And we've got hypocrites who are here recording. Hypocrites! Hypocrites! Oh, you hypocrite! I condemned it outright! I condemned it outright! It was wrong what happened! What yeah. do you want? You shouldn't be allowed to speak now. What Tom's more do you want, Where's Uncle Tom? Uncle Tom! Just because I don't want to be agree with all Muslims, I'm an Uncle Tom. Guys, if I agree with you, I'll be an Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom is what you want me to be. Uncle Tom punches somebody. What do you want me to be? You want me to be your slave? A black man. Yeah? Okay. And we're told, we're told, we're coming to talk. Are oh, you guys your slave, Arab slave masters? Bro, you, Tommy's your slave master. Tommy's your slave master that whatever he does, yes, master, you're right, master, okay, master. At least I don't cash this their slaves. No one's talking to you. Uh, what's this younger, what mate? <laughs> you're Stephen, So you right? can see the hypocrisy. Are they the yeah? Arabs you're used Stephen. to cash yeah. them? So maybe younger. they could procreate, you know. I mean, it, it has a little bit more benefit. Now, guys, what does that say? Can anybody see my name? Because you're too uptight. You've got no sense of humor. Can anybody see my name? Where? 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 Look at these guys. This one. This one. What are you going to do? Oh, this one. You're in the middle. This one. This was this paper was in Tommy's hand. Like this. But he was there. He knew very clearly. Not you then. Not you then. Please, I beg you. Brother, brother. Brother, brother. Free speech. Please, Aki. Free speech. Aki, 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 Aki. Now, guys. Free speech. After the event, after the event, I got some lovely messages. This is Ian. I see it's Ian. 
Okay, why do you hate Muslims so much? Would you try to harm me if you saw me in public? Be honest. And if yes, why? He says, you're trying to get me to say something so you can run to the feds. In other words, if I see you, I'm going to do something. <laughs> yeah, you got to defend yourself. That's right. This is one of the speakers, Milo. Yeah? Who supports pedophilia? Yeah? He was on a show with Joe Reagan. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan, Rogan. yeah? And he's there and he's talking. He goes, Yeah, when I was 13, their sisters here, yeah, maybe just close your ears, sisters, please, yeah? With all due respect, yeah? He goes, I was giving, I was doing something to the priest when I was 13 years old. And, and, he's, and he's promoting that. And he's promoting that. That's what ruined his career. That's why he's a nobody now. Has anyone lost You're living in a free world. So he was a child. Guys, just to finish off, just imagine we Muslims hold an event. We invite Tommy Robinson. Never. We invite, imagine, Never. imagine, yeah? They'd be dead. Okay. We invite. Tommy Robinson, and Tommy Robinson gets encircled by Muslim guys, and Tommy Robinson says, you know what, I need and to... And he stoned to death. If Tommy Robinson put his gun shoot, I... Stoned to, to death. And I'm going to say this... Stoned Tommy to death. Let me tell you something. I, I don't believe the word Uncle Tom is a racial slur. If you prove it to me, I'll apologize. I'll apologize, so because he could be an Uncle Tom. Oh! I don't want to be an Uncle Muhammad, oh. though. So, I'd rather be Uncle Tom than Uncle Muhammad. Uncle Tom, mate. I don't want to be Uncle Muhammad, man. I said this. I don't want to be Uncle Muhammad. I'm coming here. I'm sorry. So there's another Uncle Tom there. I don't want to be a slave. Okay. There's quite a few of them. There's another Uncle Tom. Are you listening to the race? Okay. So what I'm going to say is this. Are you listening to the race? Uncle Tom. Are you listening to the racism? He's calling Asians and Blacks Uncle Tom. No, it's not Uncle Tom. Prove to me, prove to me, after this, that is a racial slur, I'll do a point of apology. Go ask Sidi Khan, 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 I swear to God. Name them. They'll be like, yeah, but you're Name and shame us. They know who they yeah, are. But they, they Name and shame I don't know. They I didn't know his name, though. I'm not sure. So, guys, I just think I'm not Uncle up. Hamid. Do not forget this day. Just bring it out. Do not forget it. Yeah, that is wrong. I mean, that was just insightful. Do not forget this day. We don't do condone violence. Do not forget this day. Violence. By race. Do not forget this day. No, it was wrong what happened. We know that. Do not forget what happened to us. And believe me, if we don't put a stop to this, another Holocaust would happen. Don't what happened to you in slavery. If they have the power, I swear to God, I've said it before. They will slaughter us. So you're scaring me. I thank you, everybody, for listening. Is there anything you want to say? Tell me how you support free speech of both countries. Tell us about free speech. Tell us about free speech. Tell us about free speech. Yeah, I'm going to be sure that side. I'm going to be sure that side. I'm going to be sure that side. Only speaking, no questions. You know? Superman and jump in too late. What do you want me to do? I'm a one man. I'm a one man. Polish shoes. I'm a one man. Polish shoes. One man and shoes. Charles Islam. Who knows who shoes? Your shoes. I'm just because I don't bow to Islam. I'm a I'm a good Tom. Brother, just stay away from us, please. You're too tall, man. You look like you're in the sky. Yeah, I really am. You look like you're in the sky.
compared to what he, fought, what he faced Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He went to Ta'if, a hostile place, and he was pelted with stones to the extent where blood was dripping from his face. He went by himself. 
You didn't go with anyone. You didn't need backup. You didn't want backup. We didn't go with backup because we didn't have an intention to provoke. We had the intention. Yeah, we have gumshoe. You said you wanted to provoke. We came in a small numbers. We wanted to share the message of Islam. We wanted to discover the people. We wanted to discuss 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 the people. We